Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with Bun. Say hi, Mimi. And this morning, I am gonna be bringing you guys through my day today. Today's video is kindly sponsored by Lululemon, which I will get into in a bit. I'm gonna show you guys their amazing new running shoes that they launched, which I will be taking on a spin for today's video as they are designed to take you further, which with my half approaching at intense speeds, I will need. But if you follow me on Instagram, you would know that I've been sick for the last, how many days was I sick for? I think it was like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, five days. I'm finally feeling basically back to normal again. Thank God I took those days off. I didn't work out. I just rested because I was like, I don't want to push myself and make myself worse because that would not have been good. Okay, I didn't want to prolong the illness. I wanted it to get ready and go away as fast as possible. So here we are. I'm feeling better this Monday morning. It's also the week before we go on holiday, which is crazy. I'm so excited to go away for a week. Hopefully the weather will be good. And yeah, I'm just having my coffee this morning. I'm gonna read a bit of a new book series that I just started. As you guys know, I was reading Crescent City 3, but it was just dragging for me, if I'm honest. like. I was struggling so much to just get it done. And I was like, I just need to, a break. Sometimes I need a break from a book, you know? I'm not in a very much of a fantasy kick recently. So I've gone back to Thriller. You cannot see what book that is because it's just the text. Let me find the cover. The Wayward Pines series by Blake Crouch. And this is the book Pines, which is the first one in the series. And so far, so good. It's so good so far, okay? I read 39%. I have two hours and 27 minutes left in this book, so I think I will definitely finish it this week, which is great. I love that they're not too long. I can just get through them really nicely, which is great. And it's just been so good so far. I don't wanna give too much away, but it basically is kind of like a sci-fi cr crime. Like the main character is an FBI kind of agent and he was sent to a town to look for two missing FBI agents. And then when he's there, he kind of realizes that he, weird stuff is going on. So that's what I'll tell you, because I don't want to give it away, but it's really good. Like it's such fast paced writing, which is what I needed after being struggling to read. So I'm very excited to be getting into the series and there's two more. So I'm going to definitely download those for my trip and maybe some other books. I've heard like just for the summer, I think that's what's called. It's really good and cute. So I might download that one as well, but I'm very excited about all of it and I feel like it's gonna be really good. So anyways, I'm gonna bring you guys along today. We're gonna pick out a running fit together and go on a long ass run, which I'm excited for. If you're new, welcome back to my channel. My name is Chelsea. I'm gonna bring you guys through today. Poor Millie, I forgot to tell you guys. Millie woke me and Jay up last night at 3 a.m. puking. Well, she puked once and she puked up just like digested kibble. I don't know what was up with that, why she puked or what she went back to normal she didn't puke again and she's been fine today and like all night after that happened so i don't know what was going on there but obviously it's not great to wake up at 3 a.m and i have like women's reflexes i honestly think this is a thing okay when i hear my dog puking or anything to do with my dog and i'm sure it'll be that way with a child i am awake in one second like i am wide awake i hear and i'm immediately like jing awake my boyfriend goes oh she's fine oh i'm like no she's puking <laughs> one second i am up and out of bed but it was not great to be woken up at 3 a.m and then be wide awake because i'm literally cleaning up puke so lovely lovely way to start the day all right my hair looks crazy i just finished trying to sort it out slightly <laughs> I'm trying to wear my hair natural more and it obviously is like just nuts. So I try and tame it. I just ordered off Amazon one of those continuous um, spray bottles because I know a lot of girls use that to like re-wet their hair and then let it air dry again so that it doesn't look crazy. Cause it's hard just, it looks good like right after I do my hair but then when I sleep on it, it just goes a bit frizzier which I find is just hard to tame it. I tried to put it in like a silk scrunchie last night so it wasn't just rubbing everywhere, but it's still a bit of a struggle sometimes. But I'm about to do just a little bit of skincare and then I'm gonna go take Millie on a walk before I have breakfast or anything. 
I'm just using the Tower 28 Daily Rescue Facial Mist MVP. I love that stuff so much. And let that kind of air dry a tiny bit. I'm gonna go in with my vitamin C Green Envy Glow C Serum. I feel like this has lasted me so long now. Like I've been using this for months and I still have some, which I love. I love that for me. And this just helps with dark spots, which I do get from like post acne marks. I find it just helps brighten them up quite fast so I'm not like chilling with them for a long time. And obviously it's an antioxidant, so it helps with any sort of fine lines. And just keeping your skin tone a little bit more even. I like to use that one in the mornings and then at night I'll use my Naturium Niacinamide because this one pills um, if I mix it with other products in the morning, like with sunscreen. So I just switch Niacinamide at night and vitamin C in the morning. And I'll let that soak in a little bit. And then a new serum I've also been layering is the La Roche-Posay Cicaplast B5 Serum. So this is non-comedogenic, even though the actual B5 serum is, or like the cream, which is this, is comedogenic. So I wouldn't apply this on my skin, on my face. If I use it anywhere else, I have like an itch or irritation, but the serum is good. So. I've been using this as like an extra moisture step and I really like it. I just take two drops in my hands and then I'll just apply it all over. And B5 just helps hydrate and like decrease sensitivity in your skin. I love the feeling of the serum. It just feels so hydrating and like makes your skin feel bouncy after you apply it. Right? And then of course I'm back on my Vanny Cream moisturizer, which I'm gonna apply. And then this is a new sunscreen for me that I really like the texture of it. It's very like, it's like a moussey texture. It reminds me a lot more of a primer, which is why it is a primer slash sunscreen. But this goes on a lot more matte than other sunscreens, which I really like. And this one is tinted too. So it just adds like a little bit tint to your skin. And it like blurs imperfections and just keeps your face a little bit more matte. I love, love, love this. I got it from beautysense.com in Canada. It's like a online retailer and it's great. This camera's gonna die, the battery. So I'm gonna apply these two and I'll turn with you guys in a minute. All right, I am, I have just been doing a ton of cleaning in my bedroom. I just felt like I needed to like change some clothes over to some spring stuff because we are nearing the end of April almost. And by the time I get back from my vacation, it'll almost be May and it seems to be getting warmer. So I just didn't need like these hardcore winter clothes anymore. But anyways, I made myself my breakfast for this run day. So I'm having a huge bowl of oatmeal. This is protein oats and it is literally massive. I'm gonna eat all of it right now so that I'm getting all those carbohydrates in for my run. It's just really good. It's a Kodiak, Kodiak cake brown sugar one. My absolute favorite. Absolutely delicious. Every single time. All right guys, I'm quickly off to meet Jay. We're just gonna pick up a couple groceries for this week and we'll be heading to the grocery store to get the essentials. So I need to get my bag. And then after, we're gonna be going for a run. <laughs> this has been delayed, but we are going this afternoon. So this is my outfit for the run. Obviously all Lululemon. Thank you again to Lululemon for sponsoring a portion of today's video. We're gonna be taking the new Beyond Feel shoes out for a ride. They are designed to take you further, which I absolutely love. I paired them with these shorts. These are the Hottie Hot High Rise 2.5 inch shorts. And then I have this cropped long sleeve as well, which I'm really excited. So let's put this outfit on and I'll tell you guys a bit more about the shoes before we take them out for a spin. So these are the shoes up close. The Beyond Feel running shoes from Lululemon, which are brand new and I'm so excited to take these out for a run. So they have a mesh upper, which is super breathable and designed to move with your foot. They have cushioning foam, which really helps cushion you when you go from heel to toe while you're running. They also have a really high traction sole, which is great so you can really grip the ground while you're running. And the enhanced foam in the forefront foot really helps support a woman's stride and how a woman lands while they're running. I love that Lululemon designs their shoes for women first. It is such an amazing part of why I stand Lululemon so hard. So I'm very excited to take these for a spin. They are so cute. This color is amazing as well. I love that it's like a neutral with a little bit of pop. So let's take these for a run. I'm gonna be going on one of my longest runs ever, 16 kilometers. So they're gonna be taking me super far, further than I've ever gone. <laughs> so. Let's go take these for a run. I will have this whole outfit that I'm wearing linked down below for you guys. Alright, I am back 
from the run. That was really hard. The shoes were great. The outfit, 10 out of 10, felt great. <laughs> but mentally, struggling. I struggled on that. I mean, I'm obviously back today after being sick, so that was a whole situation, but that was definitely the hardest run I've ever done, like mentally. Like I thought I was gonna cry at one point because I just felt like I was struggling and couldn't breathe, but we got it done. 16K, Jay helped me mentally through my <laughs> moments. And he did the 16K with me, which I'm very impressed about, babe. Good job. But yeah, feeling really good. The shoes honestly felt amazing for that entire run, like super comfortable. They didn't rub my toes at all, which is what I always look for. And I just 10 out of 10 recommend them for running. Like I just ran 16K in them and the shoes were amazing. So I will have them linked down below for you guys. And thank you again to Lululemon for sponsoring today's video. You guys know their running gear is my absolute favorite. It's basically the only running gear that I own and wear is Lululemon since the beginning of my running journey. So very full circle to be working with them on this video and when with running gear, like very full circle. But anyway, feeling very proud of myself for doing that, even though mentally I was struggling. <laughs> Gonna have uh, some food now and a lot of water to rehydrate because struggling. Good morning, everybody. It is the next day. I didn't vlog much after I showed you guys the end of my run because I was literally dying <laughs> for the rest of the day. Like I was so tired, which I figured, you know, going from like literally the, it was the day that I finally felt healthy again after being sick, I went and ran 16 kilometers. So that was a little bit um, hard on my body, feeling a little bit rough. So this morning I decided to skip the gym. We were having a bit of a rest day. I did go for a walk with Millie, which was really nice. I like to just get outside. And now I'm having my greens from PE Science, which I love as well. Delicious. And I thought that right now I would just write out for myself a morning routine because I haven't been the best um, with my morning routine. I feel like my morning routine is not ideal. Like it's been better in my life and I wanna make it better. So we're gonna write out. I love a little just I love a little lined notebook, you know? So we're gonna write out morning routine checklist. And I'm gonna write out things that I wanna do in the morning to improve my current routine because I don't love it. My routine I'm doing right now, okay? It's not making me feel good. I've fallen into a hole. We're being honest here, we're being real. I fall into the hole of coughing on an empty stomach and doom scrolling. <laughs> And I don't want to be doing that in the morning. Like it doesn't make me feel great at all. So we're gonna stop that. We're gonna stop that ASAP. First up, we're gonna start off. We're gonna have our greens first thing instead of coffee. We will wait for coffee, okay? Greens first thing. Then we're going to read at least two chapters of my book, depending on how early I wake up. Like, you know, read some, read some, read instead of doom scrolling. We'll even put here. Let's just say, stay off socials till at least 7.30 a.m. We don't need to be on our phone at like 6 a.m., you know? I don't even know why I'm doing that. It's a terrible idea. Stay off socials and phone till 7.30 a.m. Let's have, let's aim, have our coffee after I get up so early. Sometimes I'm like, when would be an ideal time to have a coffee? Especially with summer coming, I'm gonna be running. Well, this can be our spring morning routine. We'll, we'll change it up for summer because summer, I run earlier in the morning, so I'm gonna need my coffee before then. I'm saying coffee after 8 a.m. Is that possible? We will see. I'm staying positive that it's possible. Coffee after 8 a.m. Let's do a morning five minute meditation. I have this app called the Open App, which I use, which is great for meditations. It's a guided one, which I absolutely love. I think that's a good little like morning segment. Greens first thing. Oh, and then get outside to walk Millie. So that's my little morning checklist that I would like to do. We have our greens first thing instead of coffee. Okay, because I've been waking up and having coffee on an empty stomach. Obviously that's not ideal. It's not really good for your digestion or anything. Then number two is I'm gonna read because I'm trying to do that instead of scrolling on my phone. 
again, stay off socials till 7.30 a.m. Like, I think that's fair. <laughs> coffee after eight. I think we can do that. Coffee after eight, come on, Chels, you can do that. Five minute meditation, it's five minutes. You know, and it's guided. Meditating with no guidance, I don't think I could do, but guided for five minutes, I can do that. And then just get outside to walk Millie. The spring is coming, it's getting lovely out. Why not enjoy some nice walks? So that's my little new morning plan that I've set out for myself because I need that in my life. Okay, we've been struggling a bit with our morning routine. So I'm aiming to um, have that be, be better. I am going to sit down now, I'm going to do some editing on the video that you're currently watching. So I'm just making my matcha latte right now, so I already have my peak matcha in here and I'm going to whisk it up just with this little whisk. But how I sweeten it is actually with maple syrup, I just feel like I really like the way maple and matcha goes together, it's really good. And just a little bit of a more natural way to sweeten your matcha. So I'll just add a little bit of maple syrup in and then I will whisk it up with the matcha brush. And then what I'll do is just add frothed steamed milk into it. And it just makes such a perfect matcha latte and a really great pick me up instead of having a second coffee. This gives you like that energy that you need. It's longer lasting than coffee and it just doesn't make you crash so i just love sweetening it this way i feel like it always turns out so good and the peak matcha is great it dissolves so well i literally love it hello i'm about to make a chicken caesar salad <laughs> step number one is i need to get the bowl which i have to use a step stool because i'm too short i'm sure a lot of short jobs can relate, but apparently they made this kitchen for people six feet up. Um, a big bowl has been acquired. So we bought a roast chicken yesterday and like these Caesar salad packs. So I'm basically gonna just shred that chicken up with the salad packs, mix it all together, chicken Caesar salad. Easy peasy, which is what we like to do. We have all the necessities here. We got two different ones because we wanted to mix up the crunch level. And then this is a barbecue chicken that I'm going to shred up. I'm actually really excited. Like one of the things I absolutely love is a chicken Caesar salad, okay? It's one of my favorite, favorite foods. Like if I'm going to a restaurant, like a patio in the summer, and they have a chicken Caesar salad, I will order it because I am a chicken Caesar stan. Anyways, let's make this, and I'm gonna also drink my little matcha latte here. subscribe for more my next video will be a pack. my next video is going to be a prep and pack for vacation so stay tuned for that to see how i'm getting ready for that and i will see you all in my next one